Challenge. <laughs> Players order to decide it based on your ability to mimic <laughs> the noise a giraffe makes. <laughs> That's my interpretation. <laughs> Very beautiful. All of us are a 10 out of 10. I don't think we can decide. That was just too beautiful. I think I, no, I think I nailed it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Random! Okay. I think we're all perfect. Yeah. Except I'm better. Just Apparently mine was the best. Yeah. Ow! I have never heard a giraffe in my life. <laughs> they kind of sound like deer. And L. That was not a deer. <laughs> that was anything but a deer. Yeah. If they picked a cat, I would have been like so proud. Dying planted. Santa. All right, let's see. Oh, I see a cat. Him, apparently. Hmm? Oh, he's... So my money's pretty good. Um... Raise your fun. Who needs fun? What about charm? Yeah, raise your charm. Yikes, my charm is really low. Yeah, you ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't have a face, mate. Yeah, she's got little little uh little shadow buddies to talk for him. Uh, yeah. which one is charm? Charm what, is, is the, the cool so one. Gem. Gem? gem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, okay. look at you. Home. An epic dodgeball match takes place. Many people fall during the battle, you can't take any more. So, <laughs> valiantly go straight for the other team's leader and start negotiations for truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain 10 righteousness, but this game is so wrong. Wait, but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And to charm. You're minding your own business when Damien come rushing do. Punching everyone who's minding their own business. Fuck, I'm so angry. I'm so angry, I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. I wonder what would happen if I stole your man, Shini. Don't steal him, please! Yes, yeah, go for it! Have a sick boldness, go for it! That'd be, that, actually, you, you do actually have boldness right there, so... You sound as if you're offended. <laughs> I'm not offended! I'm just scared! I don't want anyone to think of I had to fight for him once before. <laughs> a and am I supposed to care? Maybe. I would like you to. Little old me just wants little old Davy and that's it. I'm so angry I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face. I'm so angry I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun. Sounds fun. And you! You standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember with a melancholy of the times when you could move without all your bones hurting. Do you oh no, bones? violence incoming. Think fast. Pretty sure you're a shadow demon. I don't think you have bones. Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kinds of idealization of, of the past because it has no use, and therefore I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. Mm. Fuck! Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You have no idea what to do, so just start doing a silly dance. That sounds What's like this? me on a daily basis. A fucking dance off? I will show you a fucking dance off, noob. I'm a fucking deadly ninja on the dance floor. Oh no. Do I disappoint Whoa. her? Damn. You disappoint her. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Mick Orburn's 
house proud. What? Unexpectedly, Damien started vaguely. Wait, void. Voguing. Voguing fiercely. And he has quite the moves. All your classmates start chanting, dance off, dance off. Damien's vo voguing is so intense, it crushes you to the point that it's even worse than getting beaten up by him. Damn. Well, it seems in the end you actually didn't know how to move. Paris is burning, motherfucker. Damien out. Fuck. Aw. <laughs> Damn. Goes that boldness we said you had. <laughs> what a shame. My turn, my she, needs, turn. she needs to say that's what you get for stealing my man. I didn't steal her man. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you are so bold, you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. Is that battery yeah. a drug to her? Like, what's Probably. going on here? Yes. That monstrous act would instantly just give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyway, for saying that to yourself out loud. You're chilling out, not murdering oh, anyone. Oh, damn. Let me up to you! Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, he's hauling a large sack with the words definitely not a corpse written on it. Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. You would have never guessed. Or you never would have guessed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not actually, I'm not saying that I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. But let's just say he and I apparently had very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Now, if he changed that to saying something about dance competition, I would have been like, oh my god, is that Alan? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Alan's corpse. Yeah. Bro. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body back real quick. Back to jail. <laughs> It would be an extremely attractive thing to, <laughs> to do. <laughs> yeah, hide a body. <laughs> Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. Disguise him as a drinking fountain. No one will know the difference. Just chuck him in my garage. He'll blend in perfectly with my collection of vintage dead bodies. Hmm. I don't really know. I'm scared. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose Damien! Uh. Ah. No, because you like murder and stuff? Maybe this? Yeah! I'm so bored! Dang, she's like showing off on all of us. <laughs> you threw the corpse in the back of Damien's um, dread char chariot and hoof it over to your garage. Holy hell, are those all yours? Some of these are total classics. Elvis Presley? Amelia Earhart? Fuck, you've got three popes in here. I spent all this time trying to be a great murderer. When the greatest murderer of, was, of all was right next to me the entire time. Damien lov lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items. A look of awe on his face. Joke's on him. You're actually just a really accomplished grave robber. You gain two smarts and one charm. Something tells me you like did some research before this. No, I just I've no, I played the a game. I played the game before. Yeah. And I I I go for Damien usually, so I'm like, let me think. I this got is, this really like fun, Damien, right? don't you? I like Damien. The only uh, the only person that I'm having trouble. Um. I thought this. I thought the um, red one was Gen fun. For a second. Not, it's fun. Yeah, I was trying to get um the princess before. I just haven't yeah, gotten her I yet. I have like one fun. So I'm trying to like vibe, you know. So <laughs> okay. this is a perfect picture of me vibing. 
That hey. day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. Damn. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, <laughs> open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his goods in order to consume his fun? Really? Do you think that's how it, this works? Well, if it is, you gain two fun from poor Bob. I mean, you are a zombie. I am. You're all set to enjoy some fun. Sun. To enjoy some sun when all of a sudden the sun disappears. You don't mind too much. The darkness suits you. But Polly and Vera are pissed. Who extinguished the sun? Why didn't it, they ask my permission first? Yeah, we are already like have 10 hours of night every night. We don't need night during the day oh yes please excuse us sorry for the inconvenience a solar behemoth is threatening to eat every baby in the world so we cause a solar eclipse you know in order to defeat it it's all the it's all very technical and magical no need to hurt your heads thinking about it it'll be over soon i'll hurt your heads thinking about it free period it'll be over soon then how will I sunbathe? God, you guys are so selfish. How can she sunbathe? That's not a question you need to be asking. <laughs> she possesses someone, then soaks up their sunbathe. Totally. That's how it works. Definitely. This is, this is unacceptable. Move the moon away from the sun this instant, or I'll find someone who can. She's looking right at you when she says that. You realize that if you don't step in, this will turn into a full-scale cat fight. So you roll up your sleeves and bribe your contacts in military intelligence to nuke the hole to the moon. Offer the solar behemoth a half 12-year-olds in the world instead of their bigger and less cute. Okay. Make a hole. <laughs> Rip. Damn. You send 20 bucks to a shady lieutenant you know in Moldova and 10 minutes later Moldova has declared war on the moon and is firing at it with everything they've got. A dozen muskets, a catapult, one rock makes it into orbit and gently taps the moon. Perfect. That insignificant rock move the moon. Those crucial last few millimeters uh, the solar behemoth doesn't stand a chance. Uh, perfect. Because I'm going to be in this pale forever. Wow. You have military contacts in Moldova? That's like saying you have military contacts in at the laundromat. Thanks for nothing, small time. Fuck. Vera and Polly take their sunbathing gear and go inside. And the solar behemoth is defeated, but who cares? You lose two fun and one boldness. Dang it! Oh, uh, yo, wait, what? Um, oh, I know, I, I need to be a genius. <laughs> genius. Genius. <clears throat> that day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense, help. After all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, BB, let's party. How can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame. And that needs to change. See, it's a costume party, you know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. I'm gonna, I'm going as a sexy tax attorney. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lameitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas, and they're the spiciest. 
What you uh, do? As a... Oh. I'm thinking. Hold up. I don't know which one I would rather pick. Because you actually want Polly, right? And probably. I don't know. It's very good to be undecided. A man with a plan, I see. Uh, Spike the punch. Yeah! Later that night, at the party. <laughs> this is nuts! Look at all these humans in human costumes! Georgina the party owlbear is totally just turned into a sumo wrestler. And Larry the Lich looks exactly like former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Every newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. A childhood, family, friends. They have no recollection of their lives as a monster. And are all currently going insane from the cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Manny the Manticore just turned into a retired cop who's screaming for his estranged wife and two sons. <laughs> Pranked! In about four hours, all of these newly created people will revert to their previous forms, essentially murdering these new identities. Well, in the meantime, you and Polly will have a great time scaring the shit out of actual humans and streaming it online. You gain plus two creative... <laughs> Plus two creativity, plus one fun.